This can't be serious, man. I had to run into a glitch or something. I've been in the game for over 40 minutes. I don't have any stamina left. The coach hates me. My players don't even want to play for me. Man, let me drop this dime. I'm tired of this. Just wanted to show you guys a quick glitch before we get into my first game as a starter. It seems in game six, you play an outrageous amount of minutes. I played over 45 minutes in a regular game. I'm not a starter. I did not get the starting position. They did not take me out the game. I played power forward. I played center. I played shooting guard. I played small forward. I don't know what happened in that game. The only good thing that came out of that game with me getting a lot of assists, I did get followed by Magic Johnson. That's definitely great. You know, it's great to be followed by one of the best but at the same time it's like hey magic why are you following me but i just wanted to get that out the way so let's get into my first game as a starter y'all <laughs> say the movie dog my name is ho oh, h to the ov i used to by the oc i guess even back then you can call me ceo of the roc ho Fresh out the frying pan into the fire, I be the music biz number one supplier. Ho, oh, oh. not DOC, but similar to them letters, no one could do it better. I check chatter like a food inspector. My homie Strick told me, dude, finish your breakfast. So that's what I'ma do, take you back to the dude with the Lexus. Fast forward the jewels and the necklace. Let me tell you dudes what I do to protect us. Shoot at you actors like movie directors. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I hope you guys are ready for my first game as a starter. Check me out as I hit that nice trick shot, man. I'm loving that pregame ritual. I love it. Now check out this one. Gotta pull a suit and tie off, man. It's time to get suited and booted. I wish with that animation they would have let me actually pull off my warm-up. That would have been sick. But hey, this is the first game as a starter. You know I gotta try to go off. It's only right. I've been using all the VC I've been getting from Blacktop Mode, all the VC that I've been using from Quick Matches. I might even start doing associations, man, just to get some little quick VC. I I could I would do anything for VC right now, except come out of pocket. You dig me? Okay, my first points as a starting point guard in the NBA will be something that you have never seen from an athletic point guard. And that's a three. Now what I will tell you guys is, every little bit of VC that I've been getting, I've been putting it to my three point shot. I don't have a good layup, I don't have a good dunk, I don't have a very good mid range. I've been putting everything I possibly can to my three point shot and this is the reason. In NBA 2K13, just like in the beginning of NBA 2K12's days, the three point shot was unstoppable. Now, I'm hoping that Ronnie 2K and them do give this a little bit of a patch, but to tell you the truth, I'm loving it so far. In this game, I went absolutely ham. As soon as I made my first two to three three-pointers, I said, you know what? I got to go for the 10 three-pointers in a game. It was only right. Off of that jab step right there, you saw I created the space, I pulled up, and I made the shot. It wasn't hard at all. Now, on this play, we playing a whole bunch of defense. They get the rebound. Of course, I'm only 6'1". What can I do? But me out on the break is a problem because all I need to do is pull up, and you know it's cash. <laughs> you feel me? I'm loving it so far, you guys. I'm telling you, if you're an athletic anything, may it be point guard, shooting guard, small forward, the first thing you want to get up is your three-point shot. I just knocked that shot down with a man in my face. My shot time and feedback is looking good. We're looking good. We're up four points. I'm trying to put points on the board, and that's what we're doing. But let's get into my little commercial real quick before we get back into the presentation. Make sure to pick up a copy of 2K Sports Magazine. The captain appearing on the front cover. A breakout talent making his mark in the NBA. Okay, back to regular schedule programming. <laughs> you see me out on a break. I'm calling for the ball. You already know where I'm going to the sweet spot in the corner. And you already know it's cash. Look at that shot IQ. You guys definitely want to get your jump shot up. Now, this is not nothing like a jump shot tutorial, but I will tell you this. If you want to learn how to shoot your jump shot, you definitely want to go into shoot around 
practice mode and you actually want to play with the actual player in the game in a five on five if you want to get your jump shot right because i can tell you so many things how to get your jump shot right but it's up to you and how you can use that jump shot now how i can tell you what jump shot i have and how i use it it's totally up to you because if you can't get a guy's jump shot down guess what you need to do you need to switch out that jump shot get yourself something different try that out and if that works perfectly for you do your thing but that joint was cash we about to get into halftime i'll be right back y'all presented by sprint You've got it on 2K Sports. Let's look at what went on in the first half. Portland with the lead against Phoenix. Their offense has been prolific, moving the ball, getting tons of shots, different looks, options everywhere, around the rim, downtown, mid-range. How do you want it? Excellent output from the captain in this one. He's got 25 points. He's been getting it done on both ends of the court. Look at the assists. Look at the rebounds. It's all adding up to a great first half. And giving it their all, the Phoenix Suns. Second chance points, a major key so far. They've been the first to the ball whenever there's a missed shot. Michael Beasley getting it done through two quarters. He's got 11 points and is also sharing the ball, picking up assists as well. And that's it. I am completely loving that halftime report. Did you guys notice how they mentioned me? Little old me and halftime report doing good. Now you already know I'm pulling up for another three and it's definitely going to be cash. Now, like I was saying about the three-point shot, you guys can see from here that it's totally unstoppable. And you've seen in a couple of the replays at the halftime report, I'm still able to get to the rim. My dribbling still works. Everything is still Gucci. But adding this shot to mint myself and my player is great. But check this out. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Uncontainable Game Report. Doris? Guys, it was the stretch by the Trailblazers that garners the uncontainable game today. The basket seemed to double in width for them at the start of the second quarter, and they made the most of it. You have to think they'll close things out here as we head to the final quarter. All right, Doris, thanks. In the run... Now, throughout all of these plays, I know you guys have been noticing that I've been hitting milestones. Now, with this three-point shot... You already know what that means, right? Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. I have completed my 10 three-point shots in a single game. Now, I know a lot of people are like, God, I can see. Why is your shot so wet? What What are you doing? How are you doing this? I'm telling you guys that that three-point shot, your shot in traffic, you got to get a little bit of your ball security up. It's a couple things that you need to get up, but for the main part, if you are a three-point specialist, you know what I'm talking about. People that was in the rookie showcases with three-point specialists was doing anything that they wanted. I mean anything. They can come down, walk it down, pull up in your face. They can do a dribble and pull off a couple moves, pull in your face. They can actually run around in a full circle, run to the corner, hit the three like they got dead eye or corner three. Like It's that bad when it comes to NBA 2K13. But I will tell you this. You guys notice how I stopped scoring and stopped shooting threes once I got to that goal. But it's one thing that I did pick up on, and that's getting my assist. I got to get my double-double. It's only right. I'm a point guard, am I right? If you, if I don't get a double-double, that's like me being a shooting guard and not getting at least five rebounds, right? <laughs> and you can see from here that I'm stat sheet stuffing. I'm, and I'm, you see me calling for the ball, man. This is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get all my plays right, set it up. You see me clearing it out, getting to the middle of the court. Oh, check this one out, though. You see the alley. You Come on. I, I got to do a couple things, man. I'm, I'm trying to bring Dom City to Rip City, man, as little as I can. With every game that we play, we're going to try to do better. I'm loving this team. I know a lot of people want me to go to the Sixers immediately, but to tell you the truth, the Trailblazers are not a bad team, especially with me having Aldridge on my team and Damian Lillard at the backup. And Batum, I'm telling you, this team looks great. But that's the end of the game. We came out with the win. We won with ease. So with that, let's get into my famous song by Jive Turkey 215. Uh, 
Greg Oden didn't pan out, so they drafted iPod. David Carter, perfect picture like a tripod. A point guard that delivers like Papa John's. Me drafted as the front page topic. I'm Philly Pride, Team Villanova. Finesse game, but the heart of a soldier. When I go to the rack, there's no stopping me. Better bring a double team, better stand properly. <laughs> On defense, move your feet. Taking the blaze to the chip to abuse the heat. I was raised like a crip, cause I ruled the street. Not the court, the blacktop, the moves, the heat. Pull off, it's like the late, great, great Magic Johnson. I got drafted 11, that was nonsense. Name a player that penetrates better. Number 15 on the polo sports sweater. Chris Paul better pass the torch fast. I'm the weather man on the court, the forecast. Said it's gonna rain, I'ma bring pain. Double team Dave Carter, bet I go lame. I'm the king, LeBron better step off. He kicked the door down, I'll blow the deck off. No rookie in this league can get with me. Most points, most assists, better make history. History, history. Great game out there tonight. You set your career high in points. Was this just a one-time outburst, or do you see yourself scoring like this on a regular basis? <laughs> what type of question is that, man? I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis all day, every day. I feel like this is definitely something I can do on a regular basis. If I keep working hard and letting the game come to me, I know I can put up a lot of points. I've got the tools to be a scorer. I just need to keep looking for new ways to utilize them, basically. And with that... I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.